Abica para smalichte Positive for my mindset oh no Put this smile on somebody's face in my own little way And I could get there for you my brother No need to feel alone Put it there for one another But this is Johnny will be there Don't say I'll be here, I'll be here, I'll be here for you. And I put that there for you, my sister. You no need to shake. We put that there for one another. For this is Johnny way there. I put that for you. You put that for me. We are a family, always there for one another. Join us. D Star, raising role models. Hello and welcome to D Star Christian Center. We're broadcasting live from our Orego Center here in Lagos, Nigeria. And I am super excited to welcome you into this last Sunday service, I mean the last physical service, on the last Sunday in the month of September 2022. It's been an amazing time so far as we discuss good health. And we learned so far that there are different, um, different perspectives to our health. We have the aspect that tells us about the promises of God concerning our health and also the responsibilities that we have as individuals to take very good care of ourselves. Before we continue, please share this link with your friends, family members, and loved ones. Let them also have the opportunity of joining us in this amazing service. Before we join the praise and worship, shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for your goodness, your love, and care. We are grateful that despite everything we've been through, we are still here. We pray that as we go into the course of the service, you go with us, bless us, and touch each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. Before we continue, please, if you have anything that touches you in the course of the service, reach out to us online at Daystar NG. We are available to attend to your prayer request and whatever it is that you'd like to speak to us about. If you're physically present in the main auditorium, I'd like to request that you stand up as we join the praise team for a musical session of praise and worship. Cry. Oh, 
You know, just give him some glory. Extol his name this morning. Extol his name this afternoon. He is indeed a good God. This is how we win. This is how we win. We are champions. Shouts of joy and rejoicing are only found in the camp of champions. If you know that you are a champion this morning, make a joyful noise to Jesus. Hallelujah! The shout inside is the winning side. Are you on the shout inside? Make some Holy Ghost crazy noise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I'm glad to let you know that the devil is running mad already. And we are winners already in Jesus' name. Church, saints of God, as our custom is, we will be praying for our nation. Nigeria, I read from Philippians 4, verse 6, from the New Living Translation. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Thank God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Is somebody happy this morning? So just lift up your voice this morning and thank God for all the help and healing we have received in this month of September. Let us also thank him for more testimonies that is yet to come. Let's lift up our voices this morning and just begin to thank God for all the healings, all the healings that we have received in this month of September, the ones that he's perfecting, the ones that he has caused to happen already, the ones that are still in the work, the ones that are still in work in progress. Let's just go ahead and thank him. Oh, someone said that when we thank somebody for what the person has done, the person would be willing to do more. Same thing applies with our God. His blessings to us is not conditional, it's unconditional. So let's lift up our voices this morning and thank him. Thank him ahead. Go on at advanced Thanksgiving and thank him for the testimonies that you are trusting him for. Whatever it is you are trusting him for, just give him thanks. Precious Father, we thank you. Lord, we have gathered as the people you have called, as the people you've called out to give you thanks this morning. Accept all our thanksgiving. We thank you for the healing that you have established for us. I want us also to lift up our voice and, and, and pray for the nation of Lebanon. Lebanon has an inflation rate of over 200% and is suffering from severe food shortage. Let's pray for God's intervention in that nation. Would you be kind enough to lift up the nation of Lebanon and pray that God would intervene in that nation? 
and bring succor and bring respite and bring and bring growth and prosperity for that nation. Let's pray. Let's pray for the nation of Lebanon. Father, we thank you because that nation prospers. That nation prospers. That nation moves from abject poverty into prosperity. Lord, we speak your word over that nation and we declare increase for that nation. Would you go ahead and pray for your week? It's a blessed week. It's a week that God has orchestrated systems and government to work for your favor. He is going to set aside policies and protocols to work in your favor. Will you speak into this week? Will you speak into the week? Don't look at the person by your side. Just speak into this week and declare the hand of God will work for you this week. The favor of God will speak for you this week. It's going to be a blessed week for you. You must surely return back with a testimony. You must surely return back with tangible testimony of God's faithfulness in your life. Would you just go ahead and just thank him? Thank him. Thank him. Give him thanks. Father, we give you thanks. Well, thank you, Lord, because we know as we have spoken to your ears. Lord, we say, let it be to us according to your words. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Are you happy to be in church this morning? Put your hands together for Jesus one more time. Hallelujah. Please, could you welcome the person to your left and to your right? Tell the person, welcome to service, even as you take your seat. Take your seat in God's presence majestically. Welcome to service. We welcome everyone to Daystar Christian Center. We say this is Daystar Christian Center. We call it the home of stars and mega stars. We have one assignment from God, and that is the reason of role model. By role model, we mean those who deploy the capacity, the competence, and the character of Jesus Christ in whatever thing that they do. We have so many examples to that effect, and we have a sure word from God. Now, if you fellowship with us for a period of three months, doing everything that is taught from this pulpit, being part of our home fellowship system, and also assessing all our trainings, that God will so transform your life that those who knew you before will want to be like you because they would have noticed a remarkable change in their life and will trust God as you commit to the ministry of this Star Christian Center, that you'll become that role model indeed in Jesus' name. One thing that characterizes this church is the world transformation. So we say in this Star Christian Center that uh, our greatest advertisement is the testimonies of changed life, is the testimonies of changed lives. And God has been faithful in this family because we are one big and happy family. So we say here that we are big enough to continue and small enough to know you. We know you through the home fellowship system, so we encourage each and every one of us, if you are not part of the home fellowship system, make that a commitment before the ending of this year that you get involved and be one and be part of the home fellowship system, whether our small groups online or the physical one that we hold within your environment. We we'll trust God that as you fellowship with brethren, that God would increase you in all areas in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Also, do not forget that our services hold weekends like this, uh, and we transmit from the Oregon Center. For Oregon Center, our services is, is three, and it's, it happens on weekends. We have the 7 a.m. service, the 9 a.m. service, and then the 11 a.m. service. So if you come in, you can either meet a service um, starting or one ending at the turn of any hour that you show up. We we'll trust God as you visit us and you keep being part of this home that God will keep increasing you in grace and in strength in Jesus name. Church, we want to welcome, we want to welcome a set of people that are not bound by location, but they are connected with us from wherever they are in the part of the world. Let's put our hands together for our online church. They need to hear you, they need to hear you better. I believe the least we can do is to celebrate them some more. Thank you so much, friends. Thank you. Out of the many options that you have, you're choosing this star to be a place where you would worship today. We will celebrate you and we'll thank you for making that commitment. We encourage that you sign up with us. That's if you are watching us from our main platform, that is live.distarng.org. That is live.distarng.org. There is a, a button to the right corner of the screen that you are walking, watching from. Please click on it and provide us your details. We want to send you materials that talks more about this star Christian Center also establish a relationship with you. Perhaps you are logging on on any of our social media platform. Our officials would have dropped a link in the chat box. Please click on it and do the things that we have told those who are on live.distarng.org to do. Please provide us your details. We want to kickstart a very good relationship with you and we we'll trust God that it will be the one that will be beneficial to both parties in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. So, Thank you so much for being part of service, and we celebrate you so much. Church, let's put our hands together for them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you.
Also, there is a set of people who are physically present here, and today is their first time worshiping with us in the Star Christian Center. Please, if you are such a person, would you just indicate with a show of hand, wherever you are seated, whether in an S1 or in this place, with a show of hand. Please, if your hand is up, could you take it a step further? Just stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. We want to celebrate you. You are our VIP. We prayed for you. Now that you are here, we want to give you a day star welcome. Church, I believe we can do better. I believe we can do better. I just know that we can do better. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. While you were standing, our officials are trying to give you a welcome pack. Please, as soon as you get a welcome pack, please, you can take your seat. Please take your seat. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Please, as you get your welcome pack, please take your seat. You see, inside that pack, there's a white card. Everything belongs to you, but there's a white card. We want you to fish it out. Uh, it's called the guest information card. Please. Those around them, you can kindly assist them with that card. Fill it with your accurate information when you are done. Leave it at your seat or leave it on your seat or you, you can pass it to any of our officials at the close of service. We'll pick it up and then get back to you during the course of the week. We we'll thank you so much for coming to this and we we'll believe that as you return again and again, that God will make you a role model indeed in Jesus' name. Please, we'd like you to know that we have our services on demand. So if you attend any service and you feel that you need to relive the moment again, please go on our YouTube channel. Go on live.distangi.org and watch the service all over again and God will bless you and increase you in Jesus' name. Also know that we have our uh, our centers also spread across Lagos State. We have, apart from the online community that we have, apart from the online um, streaming that we do for our services, we have our fiscal centers in, 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 in locations like Alimosho. We have Alimosho Church. We have the Badagri Church. We have the Lekki Church. And then we have the Kurudu Center. Those are part, those are centers. And anytime you find yourself in any of those environments, please, we encourage that you take our time to fellowship with them. The same grace that is prevalent here also exists in those places. It's not a different grace. We thank God for your life and we believe that God will keep blessing you in Jesus' name. So for each of us in this service, please, if there's any high points in the service that impacted you, please, we encourage that you, 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 you share it online. When you do that, please use the hashtag Daystar online. Did I say, what did I say? Use the hashtag what? They start online. When you are sharing it, please do well to share informations that blessed you. Praise the name of the Lord. Please, you can also follow us across all our, all our social media handle at this star ng at this star ng across across all our social media handle. All right. Before we take the testimony and go straight into the word, I like to take this following announcement. I like to take this following announcement. Um, our monthly prayer meeting, which is our usual Tuesday prayer meeting, but this one, the one for the end of the month, is happening on the 27th of September, 27th of September by 6 p.m. It is purely online, 6 p.m. West African time. Please, we encourage that wherever you would be on that time, please connect with us online. Across all our pl platform, we'll be streaming that event. The theme for this month on is made whole, made whole. So come and receive wholeness in your spirit, soul, and body, and God will bless you in Jesus' name. Also, do not forget that come this, um, this Wednesday, yes, this last Wednesday of the month is a special Wednesday service. It is our communion service. Communion service. Our senior pastor will be there live sharing the communion with us and praying with us and also praying over everyone that is trusting God for healing. So make it a date on the 28th of September at 6 p.m. West African time. It's a communion service. You can join us live online for that special encounter with grace. It promises to be a time with the king and a time with the Messiah. Also don't forget the membership school, a new session of membership school started for in-person and online uh, 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 people. So the school resumes on the Saturday, uh, on Saturday the 8th of October. It's going to start on Saturday the 8th of October. So um, the in-person would hold here in Oregon. That's this physical uh, uh, place, the in-person own would hold. But on, um, for the online own, you can always log on to learning.dstarng dot o-r-o-g that is learning dot data ng dot o-r-o-g the time for the class is 7 a.m the time for the class is 7 a.m whether it's physical or whether it's online the time for the class is 7 a.m however for the online one you can always take the class at your time but 
please note that it has a closing time for every of the course, every of the classes that you'll be taking. Something special will be happening come next week Sunday. Praise the name of the Lord. Is somebody excited? It's a three-in-one service for us. It's a three-in-one service for us. So on that Sunday, that is um, the 2nd of October, we'll be having Thanksgiving service. It's also our child education service. And it's also our Independence Day service. So we'll be celebrating across all our centers. Across all our centers. You want to make it a date, please. You want to derise that date and show up for service. And we'll trust God that grace will be much more available for us in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. How many of us are ready for God's word? How many of us are eager to hear God's word? All right, before that comes, I'd like to share this testimony that was sent in by Nkechi. Uh, it was sent in on the 7th of June, 2022. She titled it, Jehovah Rapha has made me whole. Jehovah Rapha has made me whole. Now, this is the situation. I had secondary hemorrhoid. I, went, I underwent surgery in March 2022 to remove it, only for the surgeon to discover that it was polyps. A few minutes after the surgery, I started bleeding. They arrested the bleeding and transfused four pints of blood into my system. Despite the transfusion, my PVC was still very low. They advised me to go for an endoscopic test. I keyed into Operation Push. Operation Push is one of those prayer programs that we had in the month of March, 24 hours prayer, um, uh, uh, prayer chain program that happened for 30 days in March. So she keyed in into that program. While on, a hosp while on hospital admission, she continued. I continued to pray. On that last day, I keyed into the sacrificial giving and told God that I, w I would not use my money to service negativity. I looked for opportunities to sow seed, especially for the elderly, to tap into longevity. I started the 100-level membership because I want to join the workforce. In the 100-level class, the coordinator said he read the New Testament in one month and encouraged us to do the same. So I started the book of Matthew. And God opened my eyes to see how compassionate Jesus is and his passion for healing the sick. Now, this is what God did for Nkechi. Before now, I would have difficulty defecating when I ate processed or sugary food. On my birthday, I decided to celebrate with my home fellowship family. It was a communion fellowship. And on the communion table, I thank God for the protection of my health, for the perfection of my health. I partook in the communion and deliberately ate my cake, my birthday cake, carelessly. Praise God. Despite the negative medical report, rebuking the devil and claiming my total health, the following day I felt pressed, and to the glory of God, I defecated effortlessly without pain or pressure. I thought somebody would put his hands together for Jesus. If you've not gone through it, you would not know how difficult it is, you know, to let go of some things from your system. Praise God. Also, all the earlier diagnosed condition had disappeared. So she goes ahead to say, I give all the glory and praise to Jehovah Rapha for healing me and making me whole. Praise the name of the Lord. You want to celebrate God some more for that healing? Hallelujah. You see, the God who has done it for her is still in the business of doing the same for everyone who call unto his name. Scripture says, call unto me and I would answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Would you bow down your head, you know, and just begin to tell God your expectations as the word come. Just begin to speak to him. Speak to him. If you have not showed, if you, if you, if you were not, if you, if you didn't come to church with expectation, you have the opportunity to develop one now and begin to tell God what you want from him. Keep speaking to him. Keep speaking to him. He's a good God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you are a good God. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that healing power. Thank you for the many more healings that you will be doing in this service. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for bringing someone out of depression, deep depression. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Are you excited you are in church today? Hallelujah. You don't sound like someone who is excited. Woo! All glory to God. And are you excited with that testimony? Wow. Jesus says, I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. He did for Nkechi. He will do for you. In the name of Jesus. I say the God that healed Nkechi is here to heal you. It's our month of good health. And that is what God has in mind for you. There is someone right in this service, you are depressed because your finances have dropped. God is healing you of finances. He's restoring your finances in the name of Jesus. He's restoring your health in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, very quickly, we go into our study for today, good health number four. And so I will read our anchor scripture from Exodus chapter 15. I will read verse 25 and 26. Most of the scriptures will be taken from NLT. If otherwise, I will let you know the translation I will be taking. Exodus 15, 25 and 26. So Moses cried out to the Lord for help. And the Lord showed him a piece of wood. Moses threw it into the water, and this made the water good to drink. It was there at Merah that the Lord set before them the following decrees as a standard to test their faithfulness to him. Verse 26, he said, If you will listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, obeying his commands, and keeping all his decrees, then I will make you, I will not make you suffer any of the diseases I sent on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. If you notice something in the scriptures that we have, the scripture we have just read, the two verses, Lord there is written all in capital. So God is talking about the side of his sovereignty. He's talking of from the sovereignty side of him. I am the Lord who heals you. The sovereign God who heals you. And in God's ideal environment, there are no sicknesses, there are no diseases. And so this morning I stand and I decree over you and I declare that today is the day of healing for you. Today is the day of restoration for you. Today is the day of healing for everyone watching online, everyone present here physically in the name of Jesus. Whatever trouble, whatever pain, whatever difficulties you have come with in your bodies, in your mind, wherever it is today, you are dropping them at the feet of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And as God brought Israel out of Egypt, to form a new nation, he quickly established that good health will be a priority. Good health, he emphasized to the children of Israel that good health will be a priority because they have suffered a lot of this in the past. So we have drawn illustrations from experience. And so I will, I will advise and encourage every one of us here um, to listen to our previous messages on YouTube that we have preached during this series of Good Health. Please go back to YouTube, listen to our messages for especially this month over and over again. Praise the Lord. So there is a dimension to the diseases the Israelite experience, and that is easy to overlook. The plague heightened fear and anxiety amongst the Egyptians while centuries of slavery left the Israelites traumatized. The plague, you all know about the plague. You are acquainted with what happened, the ten plagues that God sent to the, Israel, uh, to the Egyptians. The plagues 
um, the Egyptians experienced was so much that fear and anxiety, you know, um, came over them, and they had the Egyptians had to send the Israelites Israelites away from Egypt, right? Though the Israelites did not experience any of these plagues, they didn't. They must have experienced, you know, they must have heard the many lightnings or, or seen the many lightnings. They must have heard the thunders. They must have heard the cries of the Egyptians when their firstborns were killed, right? They were not, you know, physically there to see what was happening, but they heard about this thing. There were lightnings, there were thunder sounds, and then when the children, the firstborns were, were killed, they heard the cry of the Egyptians. So apart from being humans and having emotions, they must have been afraid, not knowing what next. That is the Israelites. They must have been afraid because they may not know what next the Egyptians will do to them when all of these things were happening because they are also humans, right? And so all of this affected their mental you know, health. And on the other hand, the traumatic experience of the Israelites while in slavery, must also have had more devastating effect on their mental health. Everything that happened to the Israelites can only be imagined. Imagine people you once have as friends, people you once lived with. Imagine them turning against you suddenly. You can only imagine. Imagine being given a task to carry out without you know, giving tools to work with, and then you have a specific period of time to deliver. Imagine. Imagine being beaten over things you have no control over. Imagine it. Imagine. Imagine being called different kind of names or being verbally abused. Imagine that. The Israelites went through all of this. Imagine walking without being paid or even being appreciated. These were all the things that they went through. And this cannot leave any human being mentally okay. Praise the Lord. And so God said to them that in this new nation that I'm bringing you, I am giving you rest. God referred to it as ultimate rest. Praise the Lord. So in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 1, Scripture says, Therefore, since the promise remains of entering his rest, let us fear least any of you seem to have come short of it. And Christ also described his provision for us as rest. In Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28, Jesus said, Come unto me, all you who are weary and carry heavy burden. I will give you what? Rest. So the major disruption or disasters affect people's mental health. Jesus predicts the scenario of the end time. He did. And so in Luke chapter 21, verse 25 and 26, he says, and there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, and on the earth distress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectations of those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Praise the Lord. A lot are happening, and we can see that, we can experience, we can feel it. Jesus said this. So for decades, researchers on the pandemic of the, 18, on the, of the 1918 to 1920, that was 100 years ago, you and I were not in existence physically, but in the mind of God we existed. You know? And so the focus at that time was on physical health. But the studies are now showing that hospitals' visits for mental health and, and suicide rate increased during that pandemic. There were more increase 
with people who attempted suicide and, you know, people living with mental health at that time. So as our world is emerging from another pandemic with the economic and political disruption, we should know that the enemy is spreading fear in our minds. He's spreading anxiety. He's causing depression amongst people. All of this, the devil is after the children of God, and this is what is happening. And it is my prayer this morning or this afternoon that the healing and the restoration of minds is coming to every one of you here in the name of Jesus. For everyone watching online, you are restored in your mind. You are restored. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not go home as the same as you have come. The things that have troubled your mind before now will no longer trouble you in the mighty name of Jesus. And so I'm going to declare very quickly over you, and I want you to say a loud amen as I make this declaration from Psalm 91, from the NLT again. As you live in the shelter of the Most High, you will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. He is your refuge and your place of safety. Amen. He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. Amen. He will cover you with his feathers. Amen. He will shelter you with all his wings. Amen. His faithful promise are yours. Amen. Sorry, his faithful promises are your armor and protection. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrows that flies in the day. You will not dread the disease that strikes in the darkness, nor the disasters that strikes at the midday. Though a thousand will fall by your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. In the name of Jesus. No evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. In the name of Jesus, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your fruit on a stone. In the mighty name of Jesus, if you believe, shout a believing amen. 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 And last week, Wednesday, our own dear Pastor Ayo, you know, took us again through the principles of overcoming anxiety. I want you also to go back to that message and listen to them again and again and again until you are able to overcome the anxious state that you find yourself in every day. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So today we want to apply God's instruction on Israel through Moses to love your neighbor as yourself. We want to apply that today. And so how do we show love to one, to someone dealing with mental health issues? How? We have a lot of people with these issues. And because of the way we have stigmatized this illness, a lot of people will not even come out. They won't come out. And then the ones that you know, how do you show love to them? Number one, we show love by praying for them. We show love by praying for them. Let's leverage the anointing of the Holy Spirit on our lives to intercede for these people. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The power of the Holy Spirit heals the mind. We have so much that we know about. We have the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is not meant for just us as individuals. It, meant, it is meant to also be extended in love to the people who are in different needs in our midst. And because of the situations that we have in our country today, a lot of people are suffering this. There are times in your life that you have been depressed. There are times you have been anxious. And so the power of the Holy Spirit heals the mind. Isaiah 61, verse 1 to 3. The Spirit of God, the Master, 
is on me because God anointed me. He sent me to preach good news to the poor, heal the heartbroken, announce freedom to all captives, pardon all prisoners. God sent me, God sent you to announce the year of his grace, a celebration of God's destruction of our enemies and to comfort all who mourn, to care for the needs. Did you hear that or see it? To care for the needs of all who mourn in Zion. Give them banquets of roses instead of ashes, messages of joy instead of news of doom, and praising hearts instead of a, lang a language spirit. Rename them oaks of righteousness, planted by God to display his glory. This is what we are supposed to be doing as children of God and not stigmatize people living with a certain kind of sickness or disease. And when the Holy Spirit shows up, demonic activities are terminated and, rest and, and restoration begins. So when you carry the Holy Spirit in you, you are expected as a child of God to demonstrate the power that is in you at any point T. And that is why this month we are going through this series to remind ourselves of who we are, what we carry, and what we should be doing with the powers that we carry. And also not to stigmatize the kind or the different sicknesses that we find amongst ourselves. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So in Isaiah 32 and verse 13 to 15, Scripture says, for your hand will be overgrown with thorns and briars. Your joy homes and happy towns will be gone. The palace of the city will be deserted. And busy towns will be empty. Wild donkeys with frolic and flocks will graze in the empty fort of forts and watch and watchtowers. Verse 15 says, until at last, the Spirit is poured out on us from heaven. Then the wilderness will become a fertile field, and the fertile field will yield bountiful crops. And this will be our testimony in the name of Jesus. What are the qualities that the Holy Spirit births in us? We can find that in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. There is no law against this. And so if I ask, what spirit do you have? What spirit are you exuding? What spirit are you demonstrating to that brother, to that sister, to the neighbor of yours, whether the person be a Christian or not, are you limited by their religion? Are you limited by what they are facing on the immediate? In the Star Christian Center, we pray for countries. And it doesn't matter whether it's a Muslim country, it's a Christian country, we pray because we know that Christ, our God, ultimately owns the whole world. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are going to be praying for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on ourselves and others. But let's look at some more of the thoughts. The second, don't be part of the culture that stigmatizes people with illness instead of showing empathy. Instead, show empathy. Please don't be a part of this culture especially as members of the Star Christian Center. Don't be part of people or a culture that stigmatize illnesses. Rather, show them love by empathizing with them. Put yourself in their shoes. You aren't free because you are more righteous than them. It could have been you. It could have been me. 
So put yourself and feel the pain that they feel. And by so doing, you will be able to show empathy. You will be able to demonstrate that love by praying for them. By so doing, you will no longer stigmatize them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Number three, help them to get medical help. Help them to get medical help. When you notice this in people, when you have prayed for them, the other way you can empathize with them is also assisting them to get medical help in so many ways. Some of the diseases or some of the sicknesses, even in some parts of our world, we have tied it to you know, certain beliefs. You can help somebody to come out of that belief and take them to the hospital or direct them to the hospital or pay their hospital bills so they can get medical help. And that is a part of what God did through, um, through Moses that is easily overlooked. Because in Exodus chapter 15, verse 25 and 26, where we read, Scripture says Moses cried out to the Lord for help, and the Lord showed him a piece of wood, right? Moses threw it into the water, and this made the water good to drink. It was there at Merah that the Lord said before, the, before them the following decrees as a standard to test their faithfulness to him. So the same thing that we are asking that you and I do today is what God did through Moses in the Old Testament. You can and I can. We all together can make this world a better place. When we have a change in our belief, when we have a change in our mindset, when we begin to love like Jesus Christ loved you and I. It will be a better place for us in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So God inspired Moses to discover a piece of wood that had the properties that could kill the bacteria in the water. Moses may not even have known what he heard. But when that happened, the water that was bitter became conducive, became sweet for drinking. So God has put certain qualities in plants and the soil that can kill bacteria, germs, and viruses. Let's value medical science while we put our trust in God. There are people who don't believe Science, or I mean, believe that uh, God, you know, God is for science. It will get to a point that even as scientists, if you don't believe that God exists, remember the story of the man who in the Bible was saying, I will build this, I will do that, I will do that, and God says, tonight I take your soul. If God takes the breath from you as a science, scientist, who does not believe that there is a God in heaven? What happens? The end of such person comes. So, let us value medical science. Let's go for our medical checkups. There are people who don't do that. I don't know whether it's because you don't believe it or something, but please, I am asking that we have a change of mind. Even sometimes when we have the HMOs that get us for this, we don't do it. We need to repent. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, this teaching is reminding us of the things that we ought to do that are just, you know, available to us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't put the person affected under pressure. The person that is living with a sickness, with a disease, don't put them under pressure. They heightens because it heightens negative feelings. 
support, I mean, you should suggest um, solutions in a relaxed way and under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it could be heavy, it could be difficult. Before you do that, you can pray and ask the Holy Spirit to put the exact word that you will pass to this person that will be appealing, that will not be offensive. As Christians, as you are praying for the person, you are also praying for yourself. Please, Lord, help me to pass across this information to this person in the right way, using the right words. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Am I making sense this morning? Praise the Lord. So I say again that today is a day of great deliverance in the name of Jesus. Today is a day of healing and joy for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I want us at this moment to begin to pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit over anyone that we know that is dealing with the conditions that we have just mentioned while we prophesy healing. May I request that you rise and you begin to pray. Let's pray together. Let's begin to pray. For anyone that you know, do you know anybody living with mental health? Do you know anybody that is depressed at this moment? Begin to pray for such person. Begin to pray. Open your mouth and pray. You can pray in the spirit. You can pray in your understanding. Pray that the Holy Spirit, that there will be outpouring of the Holy Spirit on everyone. Begin to call them by name, sir. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for Gladys. I pray for Femi. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let there be outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, take away, heal them from mental stress right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for their healing. I declare that you will make them whole in the name of Jesus. Whatever difficulties, Heavenly Father, the people living with depression, Lord, at this time, I pray that you will heal them. Let your healing power rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Those that are confused, Lord, from one thing or the other, Heavenly Father, let your power come upon them. Let your wisdom be made available to them. Let your grace uh, come over them in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, for those that stigmatize I search. Heavenly Father, we surrender to you. Give us a different perspective. Help us to begin to live with them and love them the way you have loved us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you. I prophesy healing over them in the name of Jesus. As many as I may not know, as many as I may not remember, Lord, I declare your healing. I declare your healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, put them of everything. Make a root a mascorite keya take a bosco riende basanderia. Lord, I will set a cable shonderia ke basanderia. In the name of Jesus, now begin to pray for the abhorring of the Holy Spirit upon yourself. Can you lay your hand upon yourself and begin to pray for the abhorring of the Holy Spirit upon yourself? Receive grace to bet new levels of joy. Receive grace to bet new levels of peace. Receive grace to bet new levels of understanding. Receive grace. Receive grace. Receive grace. That grace is available in the house today. In the name of Jesus, whatever has frustrated you before now, grace is released upon you. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you and we have done according to your word. Lord, you know our hearts and you know us individually. Lord, I declare right now, everyone watching, everyone physically present here that is living with one health issue or the other heavenly father, I ask that you will heal them in the name of Jesus. 
heal that person, restore the finance situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal them of depression, heal them of mental illnesses in the mighty name of Jesus. Put them off beliefs that are not biblical. Help us, Lord, to begin to see from different perspectives. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. We are still praying. I will ask that you all sit down. And I want to give this opportunity to one who says, I don't have a relationship with God. How can my prayer be heard? How can I tap into the healing that you have just talked about? If you are such a person and you are right here in this service, can you put your hand, your right hand on your heart? And if you are watching online, you can do the same. If you are present physically, can you please rise? Rise and say this prayer after me. If you are here and you don't have a relationship with God and you are wondering how you can tap into this healing power, put your hand on your heart and rise and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today recognizing that I've been doing my own thing and I've been going my own way. Lord, you say whoever calls upon you will receive salvation. Today I come and I call on you, Heavenly Father, be my Savior, be my Lord. Cleanse me, grant me the grace to live a life that pleases you from today and forever in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for everyone that have said this prayer. Be their God, direct and guide them from today onward. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Can we put our hands together for them? That is the best part of this service today. Thank you so much. If you say that prayer, our ushers must have put a form on your seat. Kindly fill it with your accurate information. And if you have a prayer request, you can put it there. We will pick it after the service. And if you do that um, online, there's an instruction on what to do. Please click on the new life and then give us also your information. We will send you materials that you, will keep you growing in the new faith. Praise the Lord. All right, it is time to give. It's time to give our offering. Um, the means to give is being displayed on the screen. We prefer electronic giving, but if you have your physical cash and you want to give, there are envelopes just beside or in the pocket of the seat that you are seated on. Please, you can pick one package, your offering. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to be a blessing once again. Thank you, Lord. Bless us, even as we give today. Let there be a testimony for everyone. Heal our diseases, heal our minds. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You can go on and make your transfers, and you can also... Um, Give your physical cash as the baskets are passed around. To end this service, we would also welcome the healing streams of God. Will you put your hands together as we receive the best choir in the universe? Love you.
if you believe that the Lord is your healer, your helper, your provider, jump to your feet and put your hands together for your healer. We are talking about the Lord of hosts, the Jehovah J Rapha, the one that heals. Come on, come on, you can do that better. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Can we say a very big God bless you to this powerful choir? Amen. As you go this morning, this afternoon, whatsoever things you believe you will become. If you believe that you are healed, you are healed. If you believe that you are free, you are free. Grace will work for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. On this powerful note, we've come to the end of the service. We want to celebrate everyone that joined the service today, especially people that log on to this service. I want to believe that you are blessed. If you are blessed, tell the person beside you, say, I am blessed. Oh, the person you just spoke with did not like your face. Look at another person. Say, I'm sure I am very, very blessed. All right. Earlier in the service, we appreciated our guests. We welcome them specially. Please, if you come, I mean, you join after that was done, please, we have a welcome pack for you. We'd like you to visit the information center, which is by the right as you move towards the main gate. The officials will hand over the welcome pack. Just collect it, ask any questions, and they will definitely oblige you. If you are watching us online, we celebrate you. Thank you so much. We want you to please sign up with us right away. Just go to the sign-up room or on the, um, the chat room. Just click on the guest information card um, for, um, link. Drop your information. We send some things to you that will help you grow my in faith. This week will be a best week for you. Your life will never remain the same. You will move from strength to strength. As the scripture says, the path of the righteous is like the shining night that shine brighter and brighter. You will shine brighter. When you come back next week, you will come back with testimonies. God will take you to your next level in the mighty name of Jesus. See you next week and see you at the own fellowship. God bless you all. Oh, yes. <laughs> Amazing. It was a wonderful service for me. Um, today's service had this calming effect that I experienced. I don't know about you, but for me, I, I, I don't know, I felt <laughs> calmed. The message, the praise worship, the choir ministration, it was a powerful one. And it's a message that we all need to hear over and over again please make sure you check this out every other day i mean it's available on youtube and on our website www.daystarng.org always go back to listen to this teachings these sermons relieve the service experience and i trust god that the power that was available that i felt in the service will also reach out to you wherever you are so today i have susan with me hello hey, susan grace good morning how are you doing i'm very well thank you i'd like to say you look good you look good too um, thank you very like much someone complimented just now i said you look like toppings and ice cream <laughs> and i said thank you <laughs> amazing yeah so susan how was the service for you just like you said it was calming and i have hope in, in in a way and first of all i'd like to mention the part that talks about mental health and depression you know there's a little bit similarity between that two and you know people that suffer from mental health and depression at times they don't even know it they don't even know it so i'll advise or try to talk to you that you guard your heart with all jealousy save everything that comes into your mind everything that you take in try uh, and stay away from things that can cause anxiety for you so that you don't get into that state of depression i'm telling you is a whole lot of things people are dealing with right yes. now and it gets some people to maybe go suicidal and something you know that news that people want to jump off the third mainland bridge and all of that please guard your heart see whatever is it that goes into your mind and believe the word of god right grace yes definitely but i'd like to refer to something you said at the beginning yeah. that some people don't even know and that's a major problem because yes. When you don't even know there's a problem, you don't look for solutions because you believe everything, everything is, is fine. fine. So I think um, we, we, we need to have, um, you know, this regular schedule of checking ourselves. Yes. Just, um, like something as funny as just 
bring your mind back home. Yeah. So my find snap talk out to of people. it. Snap out of that yes. thought, that thinking you might be having. Snap out mm -hmm. of it. You know, listen to uh, inspirational music. Pray if you have to. And I also want to talk about you know um, we too that are around people. We need to constantly check on people. It's not easy for these people to speak out. Exactly. But we, Especially when they don't yes, even know there's something they don't wrong. Know. They but we out. as friends, you need to study your friend. How is he or she behaving this time? Can I pray with this person? Can I, can I speak with this person? So that this person can just come out. Don't stay away. Don't stigmatize. Just as, as, as Pastor Grace said. Don't, yes. don't, this, some illnesses, some diseases, they are not as contagious as, as we think they are. So please, let's go close to our loved ones. Let's ask them questions. When we notice that something somehow is, is wrong with that, them. That's really important, yes, especially yes. as Christians. It's a duty for us to check on people. You know, um, even the, the, the Bible teaches us that even after you have um, brought someone to Christ, after mm -hmm. you've helped the person, you know, become a follower of Christ, yes. you don't just leave the person, you constantly you follow, follow up, up to on ensure them. that the person is growing in their walk of faith. The same way, when people are depressed, all they need is someone around. A lot of Show friends, they don't need to know someone care. Yes. They need to know that someone just sees simple, me. Simple words, simple, how are you doing? Simple, I love you. Simple, you know, it goes a long way. As oh, little definitely. as we think it might be. Yeah. So take it upon yourself this week. Go out there, check on your friends, check on your family. I, I hear some people have not probably spoken with their mother or their father or their, their siblings. Amazing. Probably there's an issue or something. Pick up your phone and call somebody today. Check up on them. Not when we lose them, we now say, oh, had I known. You know, let that not be our case. All right, Grace. Wow, thank you very much for that, Susan. That, <laughs> that, that was another sermon after sermon. And I, yeah. I totally got some things from what she had said. I'm sure that you did too. Yes. Please, in the course of this week, remember that the services are available. You can still share the link yeah. with family members, loved ones. Let them also have this experience that we've just had, had. in the course of this service. Always, always reach out to us at Daystar NG across all social media platforms we are available to attend to whatever it is you want to talk to us about exactly. and please and please make sure that you reach out to someone in the course of this week one or two but at least one, one person. person take it upon yourself to check on someone and if you are the person that finds yourself in this situation that you feel you're not just doing well mentally please reach, reach out, out please. reach out to even professionals that this is their job to do on a daily basis please i mean you are still alive that means god has something he has an assignment for you in this world Wow, thank you so much for staying tuned. Thank We've you, come to the you. end of the service. Yes, it's a beautiful and service. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we go in the week to make do I have mean to fun, make use of what we have enjoy learned. Yourself. Have fun <laughs> and stay with God. Bye. Have a blessed week. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. I wake up for a smile each day Positive for my mindset, don't oh, know Put this smile on somebody's face In my own little way mm -hmm. And I go dead there for you, my brother No need to feel alone Go dead there for one another But this is journey where we take Don't no say I'll be here, I'll be here, I'll be here for you. And I go that there for you, my sister. You no need to shake. We go that there for one another. For this journey we do. I go there for you. You go there for me too. Yeah, We are a family, always there for one another. Join us. D-Star, Raising Role Models.